excellent ball play. Get, get a lot of meaningful repetitions. And so players, players, you know, the term is, I'm going to go out and I'm going to shoot 100 shots. Good players shoot 100 shots. Great players make 100 shots. No doubt. So have a meaningful workout. Like anything that you do should have a plan. So develop that plan so that on the court get meaningful repetitions. That means that games get game shots at game speed from your spots. You know, now that's a whole different thing because players got to understand what they spot set. But get game game shots, game speed from the spots in which you'll get them on the court. And then get repetition after repetition after repetition that way rather than I'm going to be in the gym for an hour and a half, two hours, and we just shoot. That's good, but you want to make it reality. And then the second yeah. thing, always give the ratio 80-20 or 75-25. You want to be developing and working on your game between 75 and 85% of the time. And then you want to play the other 20-25% of the time. A lot of players flip it. A lot of coaches flip it. And they want to play 75 to 80 percent of the time, which is so. If we go back to AAU, that's what I always felt with some of the issues. It was flipped, like they 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 inverted it. They Instead of practicing, right. they, it was just right. game, game, right. game, game, game. You had to be live. But okay. even in practice, we just playing. But are we really getting that development time? Which is why the word trainer has taken off so much because that's where they're supposed to be developing. But now the AAU is really just playing. But when you get that good AAU program, then they're going to break that development as well as plan. But the 75, 25, 80, 20, you want to develop and then play. And then get those repetitions. What about on the conditioning side of the game? Uh, <laughs> and you're a point guard, so I know that you going to you know, agree with me on this. Um, and if you don't, don't know, go do your, go do your homework on lefty. All right, go do your homework on lefty. Man, I got some things, yo, man. One, two, one, two, man. It's Lefty B-Boy at IACB. Wild style cameraman. Coach Bailey preaching the hoop cop for him at one time. Now, listen. Um, uh, man, you may forget. What was the question, Lefty? The question is, man, on the conditioning side. So, you want to. So, basketball players get in basketball shape by doing basketball things. It's cool to run cross country. Because that will give you endurance. But basketball is stop and go. Which is why a lot of coaches do like those suicides or those 17s. And, and uh, you know, going back to the parents, parents should get educated as much as they can. That's why I say let the coach be the expert. Why are they running my kids so much, right? You know, it's a reason behind it. But basketball players get in basketball shape by doing basketball things. So a lot of that. You want to pattern your skill development or you want to pattern your workouts um, in a way in which you're able to do more than one thing, if that makes sense. You don't just want to shoot. You want to get your conditioning in with that shooting drill. You just don't want to stand and just catch and shoot. You know, move around. Have a, have a, have a time period for when that drill needs to end. You know, now you get in a basketball shape by doing basketball things because, yeah, we can do sprints. We can run a couple miles, but it's different when you got to play defense on one end, you got to come, you got to get a score on the other end, and then you got to come back and get another defensive stop on the other end. Now that, my friends, is what coaches call checkmate, right? Man, now tell us something, man. Cause we we we, we ain't gonna hold you up because we know you got a lot of things to do, places yeah, yeah. to go, and people to meet, man. We with Coach Bailey, man. He preaching the Chicago Hoop Gospel one time.